welcome to the first ever Luxury Kitchen Summit. I'm, I'm so excited uh, to have five people that will have it will help you determine what you're going to buy in the next week or next 10 years. Thank you, um, everybody, for joining. Thank you, Steve, for inviting me. Um, um, talking today about probably um, the brand considered the most luxurious in the kitchen space, and that's La Cornu. Um, La Cornu is a company that was founded in Paris 115 years ago, and they actually um, created the first gas oven for the home, the first convection oven, back when they were lighting the streets of Paris with gas street lamps. Um, the engineer and founder of La Cornu thought, about controlling the gas flow for street lamps and how you could apply that to your cooking versus open flame. Um, from there, the first La Cornu was born. And in the past century plus, it has evolved into um, a global brand. I'm very proud that the US is by far the biggest market worldwide. That was not the case 20 years ago, but um, the American consumer has learned to just fall in love with it, understand the, the benefits. So um, this is a, some photos that were taken in our factory. A lot of people think it is going to be a beautifully sleek, pristine factory. This is not Photoshop. It is absolutely charming. And we use the word charming. Uh, it's an atelier about 30 minutes uh, north of Paris. Um, it is true. Every Chateau range is handcrafted, custom to order. So there is no inventory. Every range is designed by the end consumer, the designer, in terms of the size, color, trim, cooktop configurations, whether you want induction, gas, uh, griddle, burners, um, barbecue, et cetera. And then it is built to order. So they actually print out the order with all the required parts. And then that uh, artisan walks around the factory and builds it. It's absolutely fascinating to watch. And we've had clients come over and see their specific range being built. And it's just really neat. So here's a couple of photos just showing a specific range being built. The image on the top left was actually that first La Corny range that I referenced. It was about the size of a big US mailbox. Um, and th these are mo modern chateaus today. And the image on the bottom left, they actually inscribe a, a, the ID plate with either the homeowner's name, the estate's name, sometimes the dog or the children's name, a lot of cute things. Um, people just get to see that that range was built for them. Every range is inspected, flown over on Air France, and then custom delivery with bike glove into the homeowner's uh, so this is just a snapshot of what La Cornu looks like today from ranges. We've evolved into Walnut of Rotisseries, which is a great auxiliary product. Um, and then we also have our more entry-level product, which is the Cornu Fay. So that piece is manufactured in bulk in predetermined colors and trims. So we've got 12 colors, three trim combinations in two different sizes. So we have a 36 and a 44 inch. Those are European sizes as well. Um, and that is a phenomenal seller. So those start around you know, $10,000 US. Um, you'll notice a lot of uh, variation in the style here. So we, we say with La Cornu, anything is possible. If you can dream it, we can build it. We've seen a lot of crazy things over the years. Um, we have matched um, our antique tile. We've matched um, sports cars. We've matched uh, the wife's eyes. So as long as it's feasible and we can get you all to approve it, we can build it um, and we have done so. So it's it's nice that no two La Cornus are ever the same. Um, first and foremost though, we are about our cooking. So typically ranges are gonna see the, the gas burners on the far left where you get your direct heat, searing, sauteing, and boiling. And then our signature piece is our French top or the ploc, the French call it the piano where you're moving pots in and out. Um, just some more, peek at some of our details so you can just see some of the variety of the product. And then the Corny Fade collection, we just announced four new colors about a week or two ago. And I will say the order desk is very busy. So um, we're happy to see that the series uh, new color collections has taken off. And then I'll just finish with um, some collaborations that we've done. Ferris Rafale is a designer out of um, Canada who did this specific project for Drake. And we now offer this in our collection is the most elite at 125,000 plus. And then we have collaborations with Martin Lawrence Ballard and Suzanne Kassler who have interpreted their versions of the perfect La Cornu palette. What's the most unique range you guys have ever made? I know about the F1 fiber range. Oh yeah. In, in um, yes, so we've done the range out of all carbon fiber, which was absolutely stunning. I mean, there have been a lot of over the years, artisans love to print out pictures, take pictures of what the, their favorites. The one I remember is the most memorable is the consumer actually designed that entire range out of brush brass panels instead of stainless. It was all brush brass, all trimmed in brush brass. It was completely over the top. They had it lacquered, so it wasn't going to patina. And it, it just was like this massive altar sitting in the middle of the kitchen. It was stunning. I mean, not for everyone, but 
really, really one of the, one of the kind and that kitchen was just, uh, it's just so memorable. One last question. You may want to plead the fifth on this. French, <laughs> French company recently acquired by an American one. How's yes. that? Uh, it, great, actually. So Middleby um, is a, a big holding company for about 100 commercial brands and 20 residential brands. I would say what it's afforded us is access to technology, to manufacturing, though, to purchasing power. So um, it's had nothing but upside. We have not really changed anything about the DNA of La Cornu. We've added in some new efficiencies, which has been great, um, but it's it's all been positive. So I'm happy and fortunate. Well, that was good. Um, I want to I want to ask some follow up questions. The first question I have is: uh, Gas has already been banned in vertical housing in many cities. How does this affect your product portfolio? Let's start with um, Let's start with you. Um, well, we we've uh, Lockhart is unique in that we've always had uh, um, both electric and gas options. Um, but on the Chateau side, we actually have had induction ranges, all electric induction ranges. For a while, we have everything from 24 inches up to 60 inches. So um, we still see on the Chateau side, a lot of the consumers want the gas. They're they're still tied to it. But on the Cornu face side, maybe a little bit of that younger consumer, a little bit more conservative fiscally, um, we are nearly at an even split. I mean, gas is still outselling, but we have seen a huge ramp up with the induction ranges of late. Um, so it's been it's been and we have a sister brand, Aga, where um, the induction ranges actually outsell the gas, which is very interesting. Yeah, that is that is very interesting. Our induction sales were up twenty nine percent last year. Yeah. Um, colors become a big trend. I personally think stainless. Um, it's never going to dethrone stainless because stainless matches. It's easy. It's inexpensive. What percentage of your sales is colors, and do you see a lot more of it um, nowadays? And you've got what seven types of blue: Florence blue, you know. <laughs> yes, blue, we, yes. Blue, all that stuff. <laughs> Well, I will say after black, white, and saying this blue is the next bestseller, but <laughs> it's very, very emotional decision on what blue. So you have to have the right blue. We still do a lot of custom blues too. What, what percentage is, you're probably almost all color, wouldn't you? I know you, we've got, yes. we unfortunately show it in all stainless. Um, we but, should change uh, that. Yeah, we should change that. But, but <laughs> what percentage of your, of your ranges are color? I think if we look at global sales, stainless is probably 10%. And then uh, we actually just did an exercise study in the past four years of sales and stainless was like 9%. And then we've got everything else um, broken down. Uh, so we, we do, we're known for color. I mean, that's really, if you're buying a La Cornu range, you're probably not trying to have it disappear. You're it's making a statement. So, um, and that, that is, you know, that is the focal point of the kitchen. So we are color, but I will, my favorite is the stainless with the brush brass trim. I think it's just so timeless and beautiful, but you know, to each their own, so. That is beautiful. I like black and copper. Smarts improved considerably from when, when, when I first started uh, talking about smart in 2021. How far are we from saying Alexa, hey, make me lasagna and having Alexa actually make you lasagna? Um, how far off are we? Any smart tech are gonna be in Locker New anytime soon? I mean, stay tuned. Um, I will say we we do own several companies with some really cutting edge technology, both on the residential and the commercial side. So um, for uh, for La Cornu, it'll be about striking the right balance. Um, but we we do have a lot of interest for more um, contemporary forward thinking products. So um, there there's some things on the table, design table right now. So hopefully we'll be able to reveal that in one of your future summits. I want to ask you guys, what is the one trend or mega trend? in the next that you'll see that people will see um, in the next say one to 10 years, you can pick one is induction, gas, heat pump, color, smart, steam. We're, it's a, you know, like I said, 115 year old brand and we are not trying to be on the leading edge of technology. We are, we have our lane, we stay in it. We think we do a great job with it. And um, you know, we've been approached to take on refrigeration dishwashers and put a lock new label on it. It's just not who we are. We, we just pride ourselves on focusing on really, strong, reliable cooking equipment. So I think we'll see some um, some strides with how service is done and networks with our consumers, um, the way we interact with our consumers after they own. But from a technology standpoint, you know, we'll obviously keep up with the times, but I'm not sure we'll leapfrog or be leading the trend on anything that's really out there. Kudos to you guys for not relabeling somebody else's product. That's good, in that's good integrity. Yeah. I, I learned a lot um, and, and I wanna thank you all. Um, I knew you'd do great. You did do great. Um, 
and and thank you again. Hopefully, we'll do this again sometime. You know, uh, and uh, that's about it. And we finish right. on time. Thank you, Steve. Bye. Thanks thank for you, having Steve. us. It's terrific. It's Great fun. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, everybody. everybody. Bye. Thank Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.